The Apple Magic Trackpad is a beautiful combination of minimalism and design. Yet with fantastic ergonomics, more accurate precision, and an endless possibility of customization, is the Logitech MX Master 3 the mouse that every Mac user should buy? What's up guys, my name is Daniel Langwish, and if you're new here, this channel is all about tech, apps, and digital organization. So if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the content I'll be putting out. Now, if you've been following my channel for any time now, you know that I am somewhat of a self-proclaimed Apple fanboy. I have a MacBook, an iPad, an iPhone, an Apple Watch, an Apple TV, AirPods. I've got it all. I love Apple products. So when I was looking for what mouse to use with my MacBook when it's docked here, my natural preference was to go with an Apple product. However, when I was looking around online, it seems like everyone and almost every YouTuber is using the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. And today I'm gonna to be comparing these two products head to head and let you know why despite being an Apple fanboy, I actually decided to go with the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. And I'm gonna to explain to you all all the reasons why I landed on that decision and if at any point during the video you want to check out those products for yourself I've got links to both of them down below and that's a way you can check out the most up-to-date prices while also supporting the channel and I appreciate it. Now let's start with what I liked better about the Logitech MX Master 3. And the first thing that jumps to mind is how much better the ergonomics are on the MX Master 3 over the Apple Magic Trackpad. Now obviously these are two wildly different approaches to controlling your computer, right? An actual physical mouse to a trackpad, but I tried them both out and over long periods of time, I found that my hand would start to get sore quicker using the trackpad had over the Logitech. Now this was something I didn't really think about when buying it, but when using the Apple Magic Trackpad for long periods of time, uh, the fingers that you aren't actually dragging around, you have to kind of hold up in a flexed position. There's nothing to rest them on. And over long periods of time, that can start to become uncomfortable. Where the MX Master 3, on the other hand, is shaped perfectly to fit your hand, even better than just a standard mouse. Your hand rests right on it, even has a spot for your thumb to go. And I found for long sessions of working with it, uh, my hand was comfortable for the entire time. Now the next thing that became abundantly clear when I was comparing these two devices is how much better the Logitech MX Master 3 is at precise movements compared to the Apple Magic Trackpad. And where this became most abundantly clear is when I was doing video editing. You know, video editing, you have to uh, move uh, clips around and make very precise movements where you want cuts, where you uh, want to move a clip to. And with the Logitech MS Master 3, I was able to make those precise movements a lot easier than I was with the Apple Magic Trackpad. I found it just took me more time when dragging my fingers to get it exactly where I wanted. Now the other thing that really bugged me with the Apple Magic Trackpad, this was honestly probably the biggest thing that was rubbing me wrong when using it was just dragging things around using the trackpad. Now normally when you're using a trackpad, you have to click and hold and then drag while you're holding to drag something from one place to another. Now that is horrible. And if that's what you're doing with your Apple Magic Trackpad, don't do that. There's a setting that'll make things a lot easier for you. What you do is you go into settings, you click on accessibility, scroll down to pointer control, click trackpad options, and turn on three finger drag. Now this is a must have setting to turn on for your trackpad. And I don't know why Apple buried this setting so deep uh, and hard to find because this is a setting where now when anytime you wanna drag something, instead of having to click and hold and then while you're holding, drag, drag, drag. Now anytime you put three fingers on the trackpad and move them, it'll automatically do a click and drag. It's much better for moving things around. However, even despite that improved setting, which helped a lot, uh, it's still, I found myself not enjoying moving things around as much using the Apple Magic Trackpad as I did 
with the Logitech. I found, especially with video editing, with moving clips, I was just able to make more precise movements and move the clips uh, easier exactly where I wanted them to be. Now the final reason that I went with the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse over the Apple Magic Trackpad is the insane amount of customization options you get with the Logitech. I mean, just look at all the buttons that you have on the Logitech. You have the left click and right click buttons like normal. You have a vertical and horizontal scroll wheel. You have a button underneath your thumb that can be pressed and held to do many of the gestures that you can do with a normal trackpad. You have a forward button, a back button, and finally you have this small center button, which I'll be honest, I have no idea what it's called, but it's useful. And here's the crazy part. Every single one of those buttons can be customized to do whatever you want in each application that you have. So you can open up Logi Options Plus, that's Logitech software for the mouse, and for every single application, you can customize what each of the buttons on the mouse does. So for example, I have it whenever I'm editing in Final Cut Pro, the forward and backward button on the mouse, uh, they zoom in and zoom out of the timeline. It's just a simple shortcut uh, that makes it a lot easier. And likewise, I've got one where whenever I'm in a Zoom meeting, that little center button that I don't know the name of it, uh, whenever I click that center button, it mutes or unmutes my microphone, which is, again, something I would normally have to do a keyboard shortcut or go click, but now whenever I just got my hand resting on my mouse, I can do that quickly. And the options are endless. All of your apps, you can customize it to do exactly what you want, and that's that amount of customization you just don't see on the Apple option. Now, I will say there are some things about the Apple Magic Trackpad that I do like more than the MX Master 3. The first is that if I be completely honest, the Apple Magic Trackpad is just the better looking product. I mean, this is a device that is going to look stunning on your desk setup. It's such a great example of Apple's design style. It's, it's smooth, it's got no physical buttons. I mean, it just looks like this perfect slab and when you've got it out on your desk, uh, it's just really, really slick to look at. And the MX Master 3 isn't ugly by any means, but it just has all of those various buttons that it kind of just looks more functional rather than elegant. So if you really care a lot about the uh, design of your whole desk setup, maybe that'll make you lean towards the Apple option. Now another thing that the Apple Magic Trackpad uh, did a little bit better was handling some of the gestures on Mac OS. Now the MX Master 3 actually does does a fantastic job of taking gestures that you would do on a trackpad and with moving your hand and turning that into a mouse option. It's able to mimic almost all of them, but there were still some gestures that I found were better executed on the Apple Magic Trackpad. For example, let's say you're on a web page and you want to zoom in. Uh, with the Magic Trackpad, you just pinch to zoom in, right? It's a gesture that we're all well aware of. Whereas on the MX Master 3, the zoom in, it's more of a choppy zoom in, so it can only zoom in. It's not this fluid zoom in like you see with the Magic Trackpad. It's more of a like kind of choppy zoom into the screen. Another example is when switching between full screen windows. So with the Magic Trackpad, it's just a four finger swipe and you can just quickly swipe back and forth, a uh, real easy gesture. Whereas with the MX Master 3, uh, you're able to do this, but you just have to press down uh, on that button underneath your thumb and then slide the mouse. And it's really not bad, but I just noticed it's a little bit more work than just the easy four finger swipe back and forth. So yeah, it's just a few gestures that I found worked a little bit better uh, with the trackpad than with the MX Master 3. So if you use those gestures a lot, that's something to consider. Now the last thing I liked better about the Apple Magic Trackpad is that since it's made by Apple themselves, uh, there were no bugs or glitches or anything that I faced while using it. Early on when I was using the Logitech MX Master 3, I had some several bugs that came up where uh, first my mouse would occasionally, when I open up my MacBook, it wouldn't connect right away. I had some Bluetooth issues. I had an issue where the mouse would just randomly die even though it says it was charged. Now, fortunately, this all for me got resolved 
uh, with the latest software version of their Logi Options. It's the Logi Options Plus. And I haven't really had any of those issues since, but even looking online, it seems like uh, some people have had the occasional bug that you just don't see with the Apple Magic Trackpad. So if you are looking for the most reliable experience possible, you want no issues, uh, the Apple Magic Trackpad or something in the Apple line is probably your best bet. But there you go, guys. I have to admit that despite being the Apple fanboy that I am, I, I love Apple products. Uh, I ultimately stuck with the Logitech MX Master 3 uh, between just the custom Optimization, uh, all the features that it has, uh, they're not gimmicks. They're features that I really use and they've really increased my productivity in my daily workflow. And I found it to just be an incredible mouse, super comfortable, and I've really loved how it's worked with the rest of my Apple products. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you a Logitech MX Master 3 a fan, or are you a fan of the Apple Magic Trackpad? I've actually heard of people that do both. They've got the you know MX Master 3 in the right hand and the trackpad in, in their left to do the gestures in Mac OS. Uh, let me know if you're doing that too. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep both, both of them. But if you found any part of this video helpful, uh, drop a like below. That lets YouTube know that you found it helpful and other people might find it helpful too. And if you enjoyed this video, I've got plenty of other videos that are in kind of the same vein that you would probably like as well, including these two videos that I've got next to me. So if either of those look interesting to you, click on one of those, check them out. Otherwise, I hope you are able to join me in my next video. Thanks for tuning in so much. Until next time.